Hi, my name is Grant Kramer and I'm a professor emeritus at the University of Nevada, Reno. We're getting close to harvest time, so now we have to start thinking about when should we harvest the grapes. There are several factors involved. First of all, I have a very low yield this year because I'm only in my third year. And in the sixth year, I will reach my maximum yield. So because I have such small potential, I think I'm going to just make a rosé with my Pinot Noir grapes. I could make a red wine and I could make a sparkly, but this is the first time making wine and the rosé will be the simplest and easiest, particularly since I'll have such a small volume. So the factors that are important are the bricks and the titratable acidity. We won't consider the titratable acidity because that's an additional measurement that will require more grapes and I don't want to use up all my grapes. However, we will measure titratable acidity when we actually do the harvest. So I'll just base my reasoning on bricks. Because I'm making a rosé, the ideal bricks is between 21 and 23 bricks. Now I have a lot of variability in my vineyard, so I'm gonna need to pick an average selection of grapes to be able to determine what my average ripeness of my grapes are. Let's take a look at the grapes in my vineyard. As you can see, they are fully past for raisin for the most part. There's some variability in my vineyard. Some of these vines are very small with small clusters. Other vines are much larger with bigger clusters with more mature grapes. And we can see on this grape cluster right here, Right in the center, there's actually some shrivel starting to occur. So it's probably getting close to time to begin to think about harvesting my grapes. And today, I will do a measure of the grape sugars. As you can see, there's some variation in these clusters where there are still some green berries on my clusters. So it's going to be a challenging year for uniformity of the harvest and getting a balanced, uniform set of grapes will not really be possible. Now in my past practices for harvesting in our experimental vineyards at the university, I had a lot more vines and I would harvest whole clusters. But in this particular case, I have very few clusters and very few berries. So I'm going to have to sample here randomly throughout the vineyard trying to pick what I think are the average grapes, not the most mature, not the least mature. Pick an average so I can get an average of the vineyard. I'm going to choose about 20 berries this time. This process will have to be refined over several years to be able to identify what the best approach is and to know when grape maturity is occurring. So I'll have to do this over several weeks probably until I get to the right maturity, but it's possible that they're already ready to be harvested. If so, I've got to get into action. So I'm going to do a bricks analysis of my grapes. I have about 20 berries here in this bag, which I'm going to crush up and squeeze them all together. They're an average selection the best I could do as judging from the berries, the clusters, the color, the size of the clusters, location. And I tried to mix it up throughout all the vineyard. And then I'm just going to squish them together to get some juice. And once I have enough juice here that's mixed all well, very closely together, then I will extract some of this juice. And I'll come back to that in a moment and I'll use this refractometer. Now this is a digital refractometer, and when I push it, I can get an analysis very quickly here in the kitchen, not outdoors in the sunlight, and all I have to do is put a drop of juice. Before I do that, I need to zero this with some distilled deionized water. In this case, it's just distilled water, and I'm gonna zero it by pressing this button and it'll shine a light up through this sensor right here, and it gives me a zero score, as you can see here. 
So I'll put the juice on and then it will measure the bricks or the percent soluble solids of the grapes. Now I'm shooting for a range of between 21 and 23 degree bricks. We'll see what this average is for today. So the first thing I need to do is clear the water off of this sensor. And I use a Kim wipe for that as it's clean and won't scratch the glass surface of the sensor. Okay, so I have a dropper here with some juice in it. And I'm gonna add it, just a little bit of a drop there. That's all I need to do. And I press read and the value is instantaneous. And I got an average of 18.8. .8. So I'm not quite there. My range is to be 21 to 23. And in my old vineyard, I don't know about this vineyard because I've never grown grapes here before and don't know how quickly they'll ripen. But in my old vineyard, the bricks, average bricks of the vineyard would go up about two bricks per week. So at about 19, I'm at least a week away, maybe two, before I'm ready to harvest my grapes. Note, this wine refractometer has a temperature gauge on it that allows it to adjust the bricks based on temperature. So it's temperature compensated. Again, I have to remove the sugar that's on here or it'll get very sticky. So I use a Kim wipe and I place again some water to clean it. Get another fresh clean Kim wipe and clean that off so it's ready for use next time. Okay, I've also been prepping my garage to be ready to make some wine. And this year I plan to just make some rosé. So I've got some stainless steel tables. I've got some equipment, a stir bar, my wine refractometer. I have a pH meter in this box right here. And I'm going to use those for measurements in the future. Okay, so my grapes are not quite ready yet. So I'll need to sample. And I think I'll sample in another week and see what I get in the next measurement. And I can plot the two values to see how quickly the sugars are rising in my grapes. If you want more information about harvesting grapes, then I suggest you go to my playlist, Grapes and Viticulture, and I have two videos there that will be useful for you. When to Harvest Wine Grapes, a quick refresher, which is a short video. And if you want more detail in depth, then review my longer video on when to harvest optimum grapes. Well, that's it. I hope you like this video. If you like this video, then please like it on my YouTube channel. And think about subscribing to my YouTube channel where you'll be informed on other interesting topics like viticulture, enology, and winemaking practices. Have a great day.